beat the Norwegian hot dog that you can find in the gap. Normally right now, we're gonna go in there. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay. Make it. This one is crazy good. Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new travel vlog from Norway. <laughs> I am currently self-quarantining here on my family's cabin in Setesdalen, Øvre Byglandsfjord, Åraksbø, <laughs> in Norway. Those are kind of funny terms, but that's how we speak here in Norway. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Martin Solaugen and I'm a full-time YouTuber. I've been traveling the world for the past two years. It was finally time to make it back to the mother country and go back to Norway. But when you enter the Norway from abroad, Sometimes if you're not fully vaccinated, you need to do a quarantine. So I've been quarantining here at the cabin for four days now. Three days from now, I can do a test. And if that turns out negative, I can be part of the society again. So pretty much looking forward to that. But I'm very fortunate that I have a family cabin that I can just relax at. All right, you're probably wondering why am I wearing a life vest and a backpack? Well, that's because this morning I'm noticing that the fjord, this is an inland fjord, this is fresh water. I noticed that the wind on the fjord is dying down, meaning it will be completely flat. And there's really no better time than that to take the boat out. So that's what I wanted to do this morning. So I packed drones and funny action cameras in the backpack. And I just want to go out there and enjoy my time today. If you guys are new to Norway and what that is like, Norway during the summer is really, really nice actually. We have 25 to 30 degrees temperatures for about three months before we go towards winter again. So. We have four seasons in Norway, spring, autumn, summer and winter. Yeah, and here's the cabin from a little bit of a different angle. This is my childhood paradise. This is where I spent a lot of my youth. And whenever I'm back in Norway, if I can, I really try to make time to go here. There is no neighbor for miles. This thing is so secluded and the main highway is on the other side of the fjord here. So there's really no one that's bothering me. Perfect place to self quarantine to unwind and relax. I have great reception here, so I've been able to edit a lot of vlogs recently. But hey, I'm not gonna keep you guys in this intro anymore. Let's run down to the beach and let's see if we can get started that boat engine. Okay, down at the beach. I haven't tried to start the boat engine for two years, so I'm not sure <laughs> if it's gonna work. But hey, look at the calm fjord. This is what we call a fjord here in Norway. Basically, a fjord is a body of water in between tall mountains on each side. How nice is this place? Comment below if you guys would like to visit me here. All right, let's try to, to do this. This is never easy, man. Push the boat out. Woo! <laughs> it was actually surprisingly easy today. My grandmother must have been here and started the boat very recently because first try. Okay, let's go out on the water. I'm gonna take this oar here and just push from the rock. How sweet is this? This is summer in Norway right here. It doesn't get any better. <laughs> oh boy. Look how calm that water is, guys. Such a fun boat trip, but unfortunately there's like a leak in the boat. So I didn't want to stay out too long. You know, what might happen is that I will go down with the ship, which I'm not ready to do just yet. So I need to, I think I need to buy something to glue that bottom of the boat or something. Yeah, you guys saw how beautiful it is out there. And it's always like this. There's just no one here. I think it's time for some food. It's midday. Let's get some lunch. Salmon from Norway, man. Holy shit. Mmm. Ha. 
If you've never tried it, try to barbecue Norwegian salmon. Lord, I love it. All right, so I'm on the way to the store. The rules of quarantine is that if you really need to get something, you can go to the store as long as you wear a mask. So I brought a mask and I'm gonna go to the closest store now to my cabin. It's about a 10 minute drive to a place called Ulse. Stoked to have you guys along, man. This place means so much to me. Look at this view, man. <laughs> so that's where I was driving the boat earlier in the vlog. And I'm now driving through called Ordoxbe. And this is where my roots are from. Like my great, great, great grandfather built a farm up here. It feels somewhat close to this place. And it's as long back as I can track my roots. This is like the most local grocery store ever. I love it. All right, I'll, I'll show it to you guys what it looks like. This is like a local little town. <laughs> so nice. One store, one hotel, and that's pretty much it. Okay guys, I've stopped roadside now to eat this. This is something I haven't eaten in two years. This is what we call in Norwegian skolebrød, other known as school bread. It's something like, you know, it's just a bun with a lot of sugar and it's really good and I've really missed this. I also usually get this as iced coffee. It's really also super nice, I love it. Yeah, you know, when you haven't been home two years, you really wanna get to eat those things that you miss the most. This is one of them. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Mm. If you ever come to Norway, don't forget to try one of these. The grass is so high that it's telling the car to... This is the road down to the cabin. Det 
All right, let's go. Good morning from the cabin. It's now day four of the quarantine. I haven't been vlogging for two days because I've been struggling really hard with my jet lag. But I wanted to show you what it looks like when I do the dishes here because this is old school stuff. Like you have to get hot water, boil it up and yeah, soak it and, and really do it that way. I try to make like two or three meals before I bother to do the dishes. That's just how I work. Uh, and then I kind of save time and I do it all at once. So every morning for me, it starts with a hot cup of coffee, Norwegian coffee. When you're in uh, Norway, this is definitely the brand to go for. This is a safe bet. Really, really good coffee. Keeps you up. <laughs> yeah, kitchen is not big, but this is where I've been cooking. I've been doing some pasta dishes, grilling a lot. I love to grill on the, our gas grill when I'm here. It is now 8 a.m. in the morning, and I always do this when I'm here at the cabin. I turn on the local radio station. This is the only place in the world where I will listen to radio. It's just kind of imprinted in my memory when I grew up. It's my dad and my mom, they would always listen to the radio. So when I woke up, the radio was always on. And it's like, I can't be at this cabin if I don't have the radio on. It's really weird, but... And yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better and better every day. And I'm pretty sure that I just have a jet lag. I'm not really that worried at this point. So it's good. Yeah, I'm just really grateful to be here. And I'll try to do some stuff today. It's a little bit cloudy today, but it's also a great area to go for jogging and exercising walking in nature beautiful there's some hikes you can do so I'm gonna try to do those things today and yeah I'll show you a little bit more about this place thank you guys so much for watching all right guys I have been cleaning a little bit I guess this makes my grandma happy if you're yeah. watching I have installed the insta360 here right now as you guys know I work with them uh, on a previous collaboration. I'm still loving their action cameras, so yeah, I'm sticking to this. I'm gonna go for a jog now. It's a little bit overcast, but actually I think it's nice. I'm gonna try to do 12 kilometers today. I think I'm gonna try to do like five to six kilometers jog. I'm feeling good, feeling hyped, and I wanna get back into shape. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So come along, let's go jogging here in the forest of uh, Norway. this one while I just take a small break 360 calories that's like a bag of potato chips <laughs> so we run four kilometers already this is the first time I'm trying to vlog on this little camera I wonder what the sound quality is like let's jog back to the cabin and look at the final numbers <laughs> There you go. And it's 7.69 kilometers, 666 calories, 66 calories, and an average pace of 621 per kilometer. That's pretty good. That's fast. Stoked. Okay, guys, back home from a wonderful run of about 50 minutes, and I am gonna make myself a power meal right now. You guys been watching the vlogs for a while, you know that usually I am spoiled by my fiance's cooking, Ava. She always cooks for me. But you know, I, I get inspired by her, honestly. She always makes so, so nice and tasteful dishes. So I've decided that when I'm here at the cabin, I'm gonna, you know, treat myself some extra over the top dishes. So right now I'm making a red wine sauce. I am boiling carrots. Also gonna boil something called surkol in Norwegian. I'm gonna try to look this up on Google. Really, really good and I haven't had it for a lot of time. Cooked some vegetables and I have fired up the grill and already put a large chunk of meat on there. You know, and there's not a lot of things that can make me as happy as being here on my cabin. There you go, look at that. I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit and I'm gonna put these vegetables on there. I'm gonna have myself a feast, a little power meal. This is actually my first meal of the day. 
I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but I've been doing something called intermediate fasting for about three months now. Basically, it's the only way I can stay in shape. We're constantly traveling around the world and it can be hard to make time for exercises. So with intermediate fasting, basically all it is is skipping one meal a day. I'm skipping breakfast and I usually don't eat until lunch. So you can imagine, you know, if you're skipping 500 calories a day for a week, you don't even have to go out jogging. Trust me, you're gonna lose weight if you stick to that and you stick to a, a healthy living in general. That's what it's all about in the end. I mean, some people, they need breakfast to survive. I was that guy for a lot of years. I just decided to try something new, honestly. So yeah, it's been working good for me. That's how I've been able to stay, stay in shape. And I'm happy with it. Haven't really been talking about how important it is to exercise and eat healthy. It's one of the best ways where you can prevent getting sick, you know? Like stay on top of your own health. It's very, very important. That's what I'm trying to do, you know? Even though I'm self-quarantining, I'm not just sitting here and drinking beer and <clears throat> just sitting here and drinking beer and, uh, and eating candy, you know? <laughs> okay, I'll admit, I'll ha I, I like to, to have a cozy time too with some beer and stuff, but everything with a balance. Everything with a balance. All right, cooking, let's go. Okay guys, I'm really aware that it can't be compared to Avis plating, but I'm pretty happy about it. But I'm stoked, man. I'm gonna have a feast now, eat, and I'm gonna get back to work. So it's like eatery station, workstation. Eatery station, <laughs> workstation. I'm getting so much stuff done. I'm happy. Yeah, and this is the view. <coughs> All right, guys, it's this. I am now going to book my test. This is mandatory after seven days in self-quarantine. Yeah, hi, du. Jag ringer för att önska boka en test. Martin Solhaugen. Ja, du är kanske inte fastläge här, ska man säga. Nej, det har jag inte. Jag sitter i cellkarantän nu på hytta. Ja. Ja, eh, hvis du kan komme 5 over 11 i dag. Ja, det kan jeg. Da ses vi 5 over 11. Mm. Veldig gøy. Ha det Veldig godt, hei. hei. All right, there you guys go, perfect. So I was actually curious to how this was gonna work, but um, basically they asked for my personal identification number, the one that's unique for me here in Norway, and they put me into the database. They said, yep, yeah, you can come 11 p.m., 11 a.m. this morning. It's now 8.30. And then I'm gonna do that test and then I'll have the answers within 24 hours Tomorrow morning Tuesday, which is perfect Seven and a half day in quarantine. I will know hopefully Because <laughs> I really want to go and see my grandparents I haven't seen my grandparents in I think three years and I just want to be safe before I um, go see them. Even though they're fully vaccinated, I just think this is a great thing to do. It's time to wake up, loosen up a little bit. I did my tax returns this morning. I'm still struggling with jet lag, so I've been awake since 6 a.m. I need to shave my beard. When you're staying at the cabin, you start, you know. No one's, you don't have to look nice for anyone, especially when I'm all by myself here. It's beautiful weather outside. It's a little bit misty today. It's pretty crazy. I came to the cabin first of September and I felt like it was still summer. And ever since then, it's just been like, <laughs> so typical for Norway. If you go to Norway and you want summer, don't go in September. It's like, it's too late. Also here at my cabin now, because this is a large inland fjord and it's a dam, um, about, I think, 20 minutes drive down, uh, lowering the water levels right now. So it's getting less pretty, actually. But the beach is getting bigger, so that's, that's something that's nice. The, the reason they're doing that is because they're preparing the fjord to handle a lot of water that's gonna come next summer and it takes a lot of time to kind of like release all the water and get it out we are gonna drive now to evia that's the closest biggest town from where my cabin is located it's about a 40 minutes drive and on the road i'm gonna try to fuel some more water because we don't have any water coming naturally into the cabin so we need to bring gallons of water the car is brought to you in collaboration with Sundalen Bilutlaya whenever I'm in Norway I always use this guy and if you're coming to Oslo or you want to do a road trip in Norway make sure to hit up this guy no hidden fees no bullshit great cars big fleet and the owner is just super cool so this is definitely a car rental company that I can recommend all right Woo! I'm gonna throw some trash too. Haven't been throwing trash for a couple of days. So the way we solve that is that there is a big giant trash can thing that all the cabins throw their trash at. So we're gonna go there first and then we're gonna start driving. Whee! <laughs> I 
you really need to take it slow on these country roads. Uh, this is the charm. This is the charm of a Norwegian cabin. If anybody is watching from the United States, please let me know where in the US you can go to get a similar feeling like this. I've heard that there are some states that have like a similar mountainary forest vibe. Please let me know because I would love to experience that. I just don't know where to go yet. Great success! Nice. We have arrived here at Evia. This is the doctor center here and it says test this way. The lady on the phone explained to me that it's gonna be a drive-in test today. You guys see? It's like a garage over there and there's a lady in a hazmat suit. Alright, good stuff. Yeah. Ah, det blir aldrig bättre. That went really well. Ooh. Okay, so it's gonna take. Actually, she said more than 24 hours to get it because they have to send it to a hospital. I'm not in a very big city in Oslo right now, so I have respect for that. Thank you to the doctor at the Evia for helping me. And I really hope that you know nothing's wrong, that's negative, so I can go see my grandparents tomorrow. This is what the local town looks like here at Evia. There's also a new restaurant here. It's Thai food. I've never seen that. Personally, I have been to Thailand. I know how delicious the food is there. Okay, guys. I have now found a place where I can refill some water for the cabin because we don't have water at the cabin. And this is only a 50 minute drive away from the cabin. So I've kept these like containers and this will last me a couple days because it's only me. Norway is one of the few countries in the world where you can drink directly from the faucet. Yeah, Back home! Oh, I can't wait. Finally have some new groceries, uh, cook some salmon, so you know. Besides oil, salmon is the biggest export in the Norwegian industry. And we have some of the best salmon in the world. I can say that because I've been around, I've tasted different ones. The ones from Canada and Chile are good. But of course, Norwegian salmon is the best. <laughs> what do you guys think when you see this view? I'm just so curious because to me it's kind of normal. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah! It is now the seventh day of my home quarantine in Norway. And I just received a message on my phone that I have been giving the results of my test that I took yesterday on something called Health Norway. So I'm gonna log in and then let's cross the fingers that I am 100% fine. It's gonna be a negative test result, proving that I don't have anything of the pandemic levato. All right, let's go. Woo! Oh, thank God, yeah, it says not detected. You don't have any pandemic levato going on inside yourself, so. We're good. That means that the home quarantine has been successful. I can now legally go into stores and, you know, go mingle. I can go to restaurants in Norway, no problem. So I feel proud that I've done my part, what was required of me, and I couldn't think of a better place to do it. This also means that the next vlog is gonna be filled with awesome things because I have a lot of stuff planned. I got some secrets planned out for you guys. This also means that today, I'm going to drive down to my grandparents in Christian Sand. It's about a two hour drive. Gonna go down there, haven't seen them in three years. Super excited to hang out with them. And yeah, I think that's pretty much the grand prize for, for doing this for a week, is that I now get to go and see my grandparents. All right, I'm excited guys. <laughs> the most important thing is that we're healthy. Even though I felt healthy the entire way, that I still did what was required of me. I, I, I do think that like that's just respectful to everybody else in society. So I'm happy. Okay, I'm gonna pack up the cabin because I'm gonna be spending the night at my grandparents and then we'll be back here tomorrow. <laughs> One jog later, we are ready to go to my grandparents. And I'm so excited to see them. It's gonna be 
two hour drive. It's beautiful weather today, so I, I don't expect rain on the road or anything. Packed up the cabin and I will be back in 24 hours from now. Let's go. White houses of southern Norway. So beautiful. The steepest road in Hull. Here we go. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> good, uh, good afternoon. Hello. Yeah. Thank you! Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, at the kitchen. Here my grandmother is preparing dinner. We're gonna have salmon today. And me and grandpa are gonna have a beer. <laughs> Over there. Yeah, we're keeping our distance here. So that's good. But they're both fully vaccinated and I'm also almost fully vaccinated. But since I have the, the salt today, I'm confident. And then later we're gonna have dinner over here. Alright guys. I am so lucky. Look what they have prepared for me here today. Oh my god. <sighs> this is so nice. Like ever since I was one year old, they've always lived in this house. And yeah, look at this. And we have the view of the ocean right here. So we're gonna catch up. I'm gonna tell them about my past travels. You know, I've, I've been out traveling the world for two years. So I have a lot of stories to tell. <laughs> so spoiled. After dinner, coffee, and my grandfather has baked cookies. It's not true. He's a little jokester. It's breakfast time. I've had a wonderful sleep. They prepared breakfast here. We have all different kinds of Norwegian products, things that I haven't tasted in a long time. So I'm really excited to just try everything. And then I'm gonna make my way back to the cabin soon. Cause I have a little surprise for you guys. We got some friends coming over, which I'm really excited about. What <laughs> Over 100.000 nye följare sedan sist jag var hemma. Oh, ja, du sier, ja. Så det är er 100.000 som inte har sett att jag är i ja, eller hur det är. Er. Ja. Hallå ja. Tack för det. Hilste Kim och Nikolai. Det ska jag göra. Och ta av det. Och ta av det. Ja ja. Alright guys, beautiful weather today. Packing the car from Sundalen. Every time I visit my grandmother, she always like fills up this bag. Oh, I'll take this food, you need this food. Oh, you need this t-shirt. I'm not using this thing anymore, maybe you want it. So nice, it's like part of it. And yeah, she does that to all the grandchildren, not just me. I don't think I'm ready to go. My grandmother also did all my laundry. I'm spoiled. I have fresh clothing fresh cuts, everything I need. Like it's gonna be a good day. But my grandmother also decided to support me and Ava. We have a YouTube merch brand called Marvicada. So she recently bought some t-shirts and the eco bag. So I told her if she could wear it now, I'll show it to you guys. It's just really cool, you know, when your grandmother is buying the YouTube merch. <laughs> so that's the last thing we're gonna do before we leave. Guys, check it out. <laughs> so fine, do I? Yeah, so fun. Yeah. Delicious. Yes. Nydelig tekstil. Yes. Fin logo foran. Ja, ja. Vi er happy days. <laughs> are here again. Ja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bokstavlig tal. For Beautiful. beste far er blitt så god. Ja. Yeah. Så bra, så bra. Happy days, happy <laughs> life. And also the, the um, eco bag. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So now my grandmother also has some products from the Philippines. Yes. All right. Bye bye. 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 Both my grandparents are fully vaccinated, but we just don't want to take any nice. chance. And they give a little virtual hug, but you know, just being able to spend some time together, just talk to each other, and for me to explain my journeys over the last two years, 
That's very nice. Look at that view. Imagine living here and having this view every day. All right, let's go back to the cabin.